How to book a flight on Skyscanner. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to use Skyscanner, how to use it to book a flight, how to use it to book a hotel or a car for rental. The first thing you will need to do is go onto skyscanner.com. Once on skyscanner.com, you are going to be led to this dashboard and from here, depending on where you are located, depending on the amount of airports that are available, you are going to tap on from. At the moment, I am in Jamaica, so we only have two airports, so it would either be from Montego Bay or from Kingston. So I would have to select one of these airports. Then you are going to see two and you can decide where you would like to fly to or if you would like to explore everywhere. For example, if I were to tap on explore everywhere, then I'll select the departure date. So you'll tap on depart and from there you can select the date that you would like to leave and the date that you would like to return as you can see right here. After doing that, you are going to tap right where you see travelers and cabin class. Then you can select whether you would like to fly economy and if you are the only one flying and if you are also going to carry children or not, you can decide right here. After doing this, you are going to tap on search. Once you have tapped on search, you are going to give it a few seconds as Sky Scanner does its thing. And also at the top right where you see English UK, you can tap right there. And from there you'll be able to change the language and you can also change the currency if you want. After you have done that, all you will need to do is scroll down and from here you can see the lowest prices. So you can see that the lowest price would be United States for 385. You can tap right there and you can see to where. Or you can scroll down and you can see Antigua and Barbuda and you can also tap on a particular place to see the price as you can see right there. So you can scroll down and this would be from Kingston to everywhere. So this is what a lot of persons use when you see those Instagram or TikTok reels to decide where to go on the cheapest price. So you can use that if you don't know specifically where you would like to go. But if you have a specific destination in mind, all you'll need to do once on skyscanner.com, you are going to tap right where you see to. Then from there, you could type in where you'd like to go. So let's say, for example, I would like to go to Miami. So I could type in Miami right here. Let me do that real quick. Then I'll tap on Miami International. After you have done that, you're going to tap on Depart. And again, you can select the dates. And as you can see right here, this is their key plan. So you can see right here, estimated lowest prices per person for economy class. So you can see the different color ratio right here. So you can select, for example, let's say I would like to travel from Saturday right here until 25th. I'll select that. Then I'm going to tap on search. After tapping on search, you are going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, it does its thing. So just give it a few seconds to load up. And you can see right here the best price. And you can also see the fastest price and the cheapest price right here. And all you would need to do now is simply scroll down. And you can see all of these are direct flights. The only two stop is this one for 460. So it all depends on what you want. Also, you can see the journey duration and if you want, you can also select the airline that you would like to use from the left hand menu option as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I would like to go onto this flight. All I would have to do is tap on select. Once you have tapped on select, you can see more information about the flight by tapping down. So you can see when it would leave the airport and when it would arrive, as you can see right here, and also the duration, and you can see the return date. If everything is okay to you, you can also read this section before booking right here. So you'll see check-in extra fees and all of that. Then you're going to tap on select. After tapping on select, you will be redirected to a new page 
and you can see Skyscanner is taking you to American Airlines website. So just give it a few seconds to load up. Once on this page, you'll see two options. So you could move to main cabin if you want for 290 as you can see right here. And the benefits of moving to main cabin is no change fees, choose your seat at no charge, pay to check bags and general boarding. And you can see basic economy. You'll be able to pay to choose any seat on American flights, pay to check bags, boarding last group, if you would like to select this one, you can tap on accept and restrictions right here. After you have done that, all you will need to do now is scroll down. And by scrolling down, you'll see passenger one. And from here, you are going to fill in your first name, middle name, and last name. After doing that, you are going to add your date of birth. Then from here, you are going to select your gender. After selecting your gender, you are going to select your country of residency and then you are going to scroll down and after doing that, you are going to enter your trip contact as you can see here that is required. Then you are going to add their phone number also and if you have any promo codes or so on, you can fill it out in this section right here. After doing that, all you will need to do now is tap on continue to finalize the booking then you will see the section to enter your credit card information and once you have entered your credit card information that's it now let's go back onto skyscanner and let me show you how to use skyscanner to book a hotel now let's go back onto skyscanner and let me show you how to use skyscanner to book a hotel so all you'll need to do is go back to the home page of Skyscanner. Once on the home page, as you can see right here, just give it a few seconds to load up, you will see the option hotels. So all you have to do is tap on that. Once you have tapped on hotels, again, you can enter your destination or if you have a particular hotel name in mind, you can type it in. So let's say, for example, I want to select Las Vegas. Then you are going to select the date that you would like to check in. And you are also going to select the date that you would like to check out. So you can select the date right here. After you have done that, all you would need to do now, let me select the date that I'd like to check out. Then you will tap on Guests and Rooms. So if it is you alone traveling, you'll select one. If you are traveling with children, you could select children right there. I'm traveling by myself, so I'll say one. Then you are going to tap on search hotels. And just give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, it scans the internet for the best deals. Once it has found the best deals, I'll show you what to do next. So you can see right here, the lowest they found was for $43 per night. So overall, you'll be paying $301 in total. So you can see right here, and this is the hotel right here. If you would like to see more photos on the hotel, all you have to do is tap on it to see the photos. Also, if you would like to read reviews, you could tap on top reviews. And you can scroll down and you can see even more hotels. So you can see that this one is for $35 to be in fact. So this one would be for $241 overall. So you can see right there and you can also see the reviews. And you can see a map of the different hotels and you can see the prices. So you can tap on anyone if you have a particular area that you would like to be in. Once you have found one to your liking, you could tap on view details. After tapping on view details, you will be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to get a better idea of where you may be going. So you can tap on the photo to view it better. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and from here you can see the lowest price again and you'll be able to compare it to other places and you can also scroll down and read the reviews. Unfortunately, this person does not recommend this hotel as you can see right here. So it is very important to read the reviews. Once you have read the reviews and everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now, if you would still like to book this room, all you'll have to do is simply tap on book on Skyscanner. 
or you could go to the site if you want right here it all depends but with skyscanner you can see that you'll be getting an eight percent discount so i'll tap on book on skyscanner for this example then you are going to give it a moment while it loads up unfortunately that room is no longer available so you could tap on find a new room but overall after you have tapped on find a new room and you found a new room and it is oh let's say let me do it just for example sake so i'll tap on this one right here and just give it a few seconds to load up because the only thing you will need to do after you have selected your hotel is fill in your name and email contact and then you'll add your credit card information as you can see right here once on this page all you'll need to do is scroll down and from there you will be able to pick a room and you'll simply fill in your information and that's it now let me show you how to use a skyscanner to rent a car so let's go back onto the main page of skyscanner so let me do that real quick once on the main page you'll tap on car hire once on this page you can tap right where you see pick up location and then you can select where you would like to pick up the car so let's say for example you are going to miami and you want to pick it up at miami international airport you'll tap right there and depending on your age if you are 25 to 75 you'll select this but if you are younger than 25 more than likely you are going to untick this and unfortunately rental companies may charge you extra for drivers under 25 and if you would like to return the car to a different location you will tap right here after doing that you can choose your pickup date you can choose the time you can also choose the drop off time meaning when you would like to return it and you can also choose the time right there then you are going to tap on search after you have tapped on search you will be redirected to a new page and you'll see all of the car rentals that are available so just give it a few seconds to load up and then you can choose which car is of your liking and if the price range is okay for you you can see that you have deals from as low as ten dollars as you can see right here and also if you would like a pickup at the airport terminal you could select that from the left hand menu option if you would like a meet and greet or free shuttle bus you can select that also and if you would prefer an electric or hybrid car you can select either one from the left hand menu option so there are numerous options on how you can narrow down the type of car that you want and also you can see at the top of the page you have an idea of the size vehicle that you'd want whether you want a small size medium large or you would prefer a luxury vehicle or you'll prefer a people carrier vehicle meaning like a six or seven seater vehicle you can select that and if you would prefer an SUV you can select that also but let's say for example I will be going with the Fiesta the Ford Fiesta so I'll tap right where you see view deals after you have tapped on view deals you can see the different companies that are offering this and from here you can simply tap on select after you have tapped on select you will be redirected to that company's website so just give it a few seconds up you'll be redirected to this page and you can see right here the different cars and the different prices as you can see right here so it all depends on what type of vehicle you would want once you have found one to your liking you're going to tap on select and after you have tapped on select you will be redirected to this page on which you'll be prompt to enter your information meaning your name email address and also your credit card information to follow through with the booking so all you will need to do is scroll down and you if you would like to add any extras you can do that and once everything is to your liking you can also read the policies i would definitely recommend that you do that and if you would like to add anything else be sure to do that 
Once you are finished, as I said, you are going to enter your name, email address, phone number, and you can also fill in this information right here. And if you have any additional information, you are going to add it in. Then you are going to tap on proceed to payment. And from there, you are going to enter your credit card information. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.